Although bizarre, disgusting, and massive are the words used to describe most prehistoric animals, we can't deny that they're fascinating. From the smallest to the largest leaders, we've done the research for you, and here's a list of the most dangerous prehistoric animals. Before we begin, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. With that being said, let's begin. Number 10. Repeninamus Repeninamus is known from fossils found in China that date to the early Cretaceous period, about 145 to 66 million years ago. It's one of several Mesozoic mammals for which there is good evidence that it fed on vertebrates, including dinosaurs, though it's not possible to determine if it actively hunted live dinosaurs or scavenged dead ones. Repeninamus is among the largest mammals known from the Mesozoic era. The reason it merits the appellation most powerful is that Repeninamus is the only Mesozoic mammal known to have eaten dinosaurs. A fragment of the Triceratops ancestor Cetacosaurus has been found preserved in one specimen's fossilized stomach. Number 9. Thylacolio Thylacolio is an extinct genus of carnivorous marsupials that lived in Australia from the late Pliocene to the late Pleistocene. It's better known as the marsupial lion. The estimated average weight for the species ranges from 101 to 130 kilograms. Thylacolio had the strongest bite of any mammal species, so it could be compared to that of an African lion weighing 250 kilograms. Research suggests that thylacolio may hunt and take prey much larger than itself. Its closest rival was the giant monitor lizard Megalania, which it may have occasionally hunted. Number 8. Pachycrocuta Pachycrocuta was a genus of prehistoric hyenas. Apparently, every mammal alive today had a bigger version years ago. The Pachycrocuta looked like a modern spotted hyena, blown up to three times its normal size. Because it was a heavy animal and was not made to follow prey over long distances, the Pachycrocuta most likely preferred to look for food. In this sense, it would be different from today's spotted hyena, which is a more agile animal that usually kills its own food, but is often displaced by lions. Pachycrocuta first appeared during the late Miocene and became extinct during the Middle Pleistocene, 400,000 years ago. Number 7. Paranthropus They lived between approximately 2.6 and 0.6 million years ago, from the end of the Pliocene to the Middle Pleistocene. Paranthropus is a genus of extinct hominin. They are collectively known as the robust because of their extremely large jaws and molar teeth. They're our distant cousins, rather than our direct relatives. The majority of scientists believe that these species did not manufacture stone tools, but they may have used sticks or unmodified stone to access the tubers or hard nuts that were part of their diet. It's been suggested that these species may have lived in social groups based around a dominant male and several females, similar to modern gorillas. Although Paranthropus fed mainly on plants, it may have been able to unite and defend itself against larger, smaller-brained predators in Pliocene Africa, an assembly of modern human social behavior. Number 6. Liviatin Liviatin is an extinct genus of macroraptorial sperm whale containing one species, Liviatin melavi. The genus name was inspired by the biblical sea monster Leviathan and the species named by Herman Melville, the author of the famous novel Moby Dick about a white bull sperm whale. It was discovered by Belgian scientist Olivier Lambert. At between 13.5 and 18.5 meters in length, it was no bigger than the modern sperm whale, but it was clearly far more formidable. The teeth of Liviatin measured 36.2 centimeters and are the largest biting teeth of any known animal, excluding tusks. It's speculated that Liviatin became extinct as a result of changing environmental conditions. Top predators are very sensitive to the changes in their prey, Lambert says. Number 5. Megantarian The Megantarian was built like a large modern jaguar, but somewhat heavier. It may have been the ancestor of the later Smilodon. 
Megantarian was first discovered in 1824 when paleontologist and naturalist Georges Cuvier used two teeth from this cat in conjunction with another from Machairidus to reconstruct and describe a new species of the extinct animal. Like other saber-toothed cats, Megantarian leaped on its prey from high trees, inflicted deep wounds with its extra-long canines, and then withdrew to a safe distance as its victim bled to death. When the Megantarian disappeared is somewhat easy to determine. In North America, the Megantarian is believed to have evolved into the first and smallest species of Smilodon about two and a half million years ago. In Europe, the remains are known to be no younger than 900,000 years, and Megantarian appears to have disappeared from Africa a million and a half years ago, where the youngest remains were found in southern Africa. Asian populations could have been more stable, with remnants in China dating back 500,000 years. Number 4. The Giant Short-Faced Bear Also named the Bulldog Bear, the giant bear with the short face was, without a doubt, the fastest runner who ever lived. Unlike modern pigeon-tipped bears, their toes looked straight ahead, allowing them to walk briskly and intentionally. It could probably run over 40 miles per hour, despite weighing over 1,500 pounds. The short-faced bear disappeared about 11,000 years ago. The cause is probably partly due to the earlier extinction of some of the large herbivores they may have been preyed on or escaped, and partly increased competition with the smaller grizzly bear that entered North America from Eurasia. Number 3. Entelodont Entelodont, meaning perfect toothed, was a large ancestor of hooved animals. The entelodont could grow up to 2 meters tall, about the size of a rhino, and weighed up to 1 ton. Entelodont has been described as the pig from hell. They were aggressive and could easily fight off many predators. Entelodont also had an unusually small brain for its size and was probably not the brightest omnivore of its Eurasian habitat. It was capable of eating anything from rotten fruit to dead bodies. From fossil evidence, this brutal pig was a true omnivore. Entelodont teeth weren't just reserved for mealtime. Some studies may suggest that Entelodont may have eaten or crushed anything that might fit in its mouth. The last Entelodonts died out about 16 million years ago. No one knows why they went extinct, but the spread of new mammalian predators like the extinct bear dogs could have had something to do with it. Number 2. Brontotherium Brontotherium was a large rhinoceros-like megafauna animal that lived about 38 to 33 million years ago in the late Eocene to early Oligocene in what is now known as North America. It is an animal that scientists keep discovering over and over again. When it was first discovered, it was known as Megacerops, then it was known as Brontops, and then Titanops. Today, we know them as Megacerops, which means big horn face, and Brontotherium, a name that means thunder face. It was about 16 feet long and weighed around 3 tons and had a large horn jutting from its face, and this is what made it so deadly. Brontotherium was a confirmed herbivore. It had an unusually small brain for its size. They went extinct at the end of the Eocene epoch. Although the reasons for this extinction are not completely known, it is likely due to a changing climate. Number 1. Andrasarchus Andrasarchus was a huge carnivorous mammal which was originally considered a mesonychid, but is no longer classified as such. He was as tall as a horse and weighed almost a ton. He had a long snout with large sharp teeth that could have been used to crush bones. Andrasarchus is known only from a huge skull, 83 centimeters long and 56 centimeters wide, and pieces of bone. Because Andrasarchus is known from only one skull, whether he was an active predator or a large collector is open to debate, as is his exact time frame. Andrasarchus was the largest terrestrial meat-eating mammal that ever lived. Scientists aren't certain about what they eat, but likely candidates include giant turtles and thunder beasts like Brontotherium. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.